What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, this has kind of been uh, the topic of discussion ever since The Rock made his surprise appearance at last week's SmackDown. Uh, the rumors and speculations have been running wild, um, especially after um, uh, The Rock was on the Pat McAfee show previously this past weekend um for the colorado and colorado state football game and he was basically talking about how roman reigns and the rock was locked in to happen at this year's past wrestlemania it had been locked in since like 2022 beginning of 2022 but it didn't fall through so it was it was supposed to happen but it never did we don't he didn't really go into great detail why it didn't but he said it, it was definitely supposed to happen at this year's uh, past WrestleMania at WrestleMania 39. So, with him being back, there's been a lot of speculations and rumors that maybe it will happen at WrestleMania 40. He, he did allude on the Pat McAfee show that WrestleMania is going to be in Philly next year. And there's a possibility that he may be there. And seeing him on SmackDown and how crazy that was some would say that it would make sense to have the rock and roman have their clash at next year's wrestlemania now i'm one of those people that are kind of in the middle would i be upset with the rock versus roman of course not is the rock versus roman the biggest match you could possibly put on in today's era of wrestling at a wrestlemania yes there's no bigger match right now no bigger match so i get it if that was to happen cool would i trip over it no i would probably still just be ex excited because this would be a once in a lifetime thing hopefully and I, I do think it would probably be the rock's last wrestling match potentially so it'll be memorable but at the same time and i know some of y'all gonna be like oh brother here we go again at the same time this cody situation and what they've been trying to allude to with Cody making the moves to get Jay on Monday Night Raw and what type of story they're trying to tell there, potentially Cody getting involved in bloodline business. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm being very honest with you. I'm still, there's a part of me that still wants to see Roman and Cody happen and Cody finish the story. And the reason why I say that is because there's multiple layers to what's going on here. It's not just Cody beating Roman Reigns, finally avenging his loss he had at this year's WrestleMania. It's more or less the whole bloodline saga of how Roman is starting to lose the people that help him retain his championship. He's starting to lose the trust from his family. You know, we're, we're still waiting for Solo to finally say, screw it, and I'm done. That's the next big plot line for the bloodline. When Solo steps away, now things get interesting. So it's a culmination of the bloodline falling apart. Maybe Cody being involved in a sense to faci uh, facilitate that, to get that ball rolling. And now it'll be a situation where now Roman's by himself. He's by himself. He's going against Cody and it's a even playing field. That's the story I'm being, you know, wanting them to tell. And it seems like they're trying to get to that point and I've been invested in it. So it's like, okay, that, that to me is like a, you know, a, a good way to end it off. But at the same time, if you have the rock come in here and kind of take that, that spot then what do you do because i'm gonna be honest with you if the rock has the match with roman nine times out of ten roman's winning especially if the titles are on the line roman's winning now granted this feud doesn't need the title the rock versus roman that can just be something without the title but i don't think we need to wait a whole nother year to wrestlemania 41 to get that if that was the case so if they did do Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 40. That means Cody would kind of be sidelined until SummerSlam. 
that's my only thing it, the only way that would even possibly work within the same year is cody would have to finish his story at SummerSlam. now granted some people would be like damn he deserves to finish it at wrestlemania which i do believe he should but i don't think any of us can just reasonably stand another year of roman barely defending the title and holding the championships hostage until wrestlemania 41 no so if they did the rock versus roman the only logical time it would make sense for roman to finally drop the championship after he beats the rock would be at SummerSlam to cody so it's like it's it they've kind of booked themselves in a situation where the fans are going to want to see the rock versus uh roman but there's also people that are invested still and still want to see Cody be the guy to get the job done. Because still right now, there's nobody on the roster. Even though we love LA Knight, it's not his time yet. We love Gunther, it's not his time yet. There's still, there are some potential candidates, but the best candidate storyline-wise that makes sense, still on paper, whether you guys agree or not, is still Cody. He's still one of the top baby faces, and I don't think anyone would be like, nah, we don't want to see the match. I think people would still want to see that rematch and would want to see Cody finally get that one-on-one, -on -one, the true one-on-one, -on -one, no assistance from the bloodline, Roman's by himself, and Cody to redeem himself. But once again, The Rock adds a very interesting uh, wedge between that storyline getting finished. So me i'm kind of on the fence i would love for cody to finish the story at next year's wrestlemania but i'm not gonna be upset if the rock and roman happens because at the end of the day that's the biggest match you can put on at wrestlemania that's not that's not a match you put on at a SummerSlam, at a royal rumble at a survivor series no you put that match rock roman at wrestlemania that's it there's no other place for it so I don't know. It's one of those type of things where it's like, I'm indifferent. I, I want Cody to finish the story at next year's WrestleMania, but I'm not going to trip if The Rock gets involved. Because at the end of the day, when, all, when it's all said and done, it's all about making as much money as possible. And what's going to make more money? People are going to want to see The Rock and Cody, for sure. But what's going to make the most money? Rock and Roman. That's the biggest money match. That's the biggest card or match that's going to draw in as many people that you could possibly draw in because people are going to want to see that. They are. I'm going to want to see that. So comment down below. Let me know. How do y'all feel about The Rock's return? Would y'all prefer The Rock and Roman to happen at this next year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 40 to main event? Or would you prefer Cody and roman to main event wrestlemania 40 next year let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on the channel road to 150k and i'm still in the speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace